Good evening. Hi, Hello, everyone. everyone. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to our sister sister channel. Oh, it's been a long time missing our fans. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for being part of our channel. Mm -hmm. We are back. Yay! <laughs> uh, after uh, such a long time, we uh, come back so with a dazzling cool. topic. Mm -hmm. uh, our topic for today is how do you feel um, when getting married? Mm -hmm. or when you deciding to get married mm -hmm. is it ideal for you to leave your kids behind mm -hmm. i feel it's a it's a brain picker mm -hmm. it's a to some it's an easy uh decision to do yes uh it's a sensitive topic mm -hmm. very to sensitive me. but it's a reality to many of us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a reality to most masses out here. Mm -hmm. And I feel it's a topic that needs to be discussed because of come reality hit you. Uh, then what do you do? What do you do? Mm. What's your final decision? Let's think about it. Um, personally, my point of view on this one, my take on this one is that it's a tough one it's a tough one mm -hmm. uh, as a person yes you may as a person your kids personally my kids come number one beyond everything mm -hmm. and my happiness also comes as a priority right and that's why I'm saying it's a brain picker because of my my happiness can mean maybe me and marriage would bring me happiness. And my happiness would also mean that seeing my kids happy at all times. So it's a very tough one. But it goes down to the type of relationship you, you would have with your bae or the relationship... Mm -hmm. you guys will be building in this marriage mm -hmm. I think um, taking your kids with um, it's a good idea in other ways but it also um, goes back to how close you are with your kids you know at the same time is your baby fine with your kids you know you don't want to bring your your kids um with you and then it doesn't work out or your marriage doesn't work out you know mm. especially they would say girls but i i think whether girl or boy it it would end up the same way one they that those people are not their parents whether it's your boyfriend or your girlfriend you know um they don't know how to live with them or stay with them they know you as the mom or you as the dad and once somebody's in you know i think the very first weeks it's very nice it's, it's all smiley you don't know each other you don't know each other's habits you've never lived with these people for a long time then you now go into the routine of going to work going to school coming back having like deep issues and then how do you deal with them you know personally i think um keep your kids keep your kids at one place and your marriage at one place <laughs> or i think you'd have to you, you'd have to know what kind of person you're going into if we both have you have two kids i have two kids we've been living with them you know but it's it's very how can i put it going into somebody's space it's very hard it's very difficult it's a lot of changes it's it's hard guys i don't think yeah. you, you should i think your kids should stay the with other, your parents and whatever spend a lot of time with them but at the same time don't move in with the kids and be <laughs> and with this marriage is, uh, or what, guys, i and... feel this is a very uh important topic because of uh the rate mm -hmm. it, it's a stats mm -hmm. it's a stat it's a it's a fact mm -hmm. that especially in south africa mm -hmm. most of the 
couples who get married, mm-hmm. we we get married with stepchildren. True. And <laughs> we are a community where there are um, my men would have to take over as a stepfather yes. and I would have to take over as a stepmother. Mother. Mm-hmm. It's a reality we we living in. And I feel there are a whole lot of issues into this because of it's psychologically it's difficult and emotionally draining it's emotionally it's draining uh we need to uh start we need to i feel our generation i personally feel our generation will be a generation of better moms and dads mm-hmm. number one because of we are open to communication right we are open to different types of living commitments mm-hmm. uh if I really see a happy family mm-hmm. between me, my kids, and my potential hubby, I wouldn't see uh, an issue with moving in because of I wouldn't want my kids to stay behind. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to build a family without my kids because if I see a family with my bae and my kids. But the when I talk about communication... It needs to go deep Mm -hmm. because of he needs not to tolerate them, but he needs to really love them. But Uh, do you think they they would ever love the kids? Yes, I do. I really do. And I feel that... um, It's just a matter. That's why I'm saying it's a psychological manner. A matter, I mean to say, because of if I'm bringing a five-year-old and my hubby is bringing a five-year-old, uh, we need to be on the same track. We need to be in the same mindset to say, this is what we're building. Mm. Uh, this is what we want to achieve mm-hmm. in our marriage. The issue starts with uh, what you guys are getting married for. I, I think either either way, when you say emotionally and psychologically, what I think is that um, if then the, the step-parent who's now new to the family or whatever, uh, it's either he's going to have a problem or she's going to have a problem or or the kids will just act out or, or something, you know, because they're just not used to... To being together and if you saying you bring a five-year-old he's bringing a five-year-old the kids one they from different lives and she that's why i'm saying <laughs> so we need to have a common ground <laughs> mm-hmm. in the relationship mm-hmm. because even if kids are from different walks of life life yes if we are we have a common mm, ground because there's this those will kids, teach our kids there's those kids where it's been them and their parents forever, you know, and you but coming they into will, their space. That's and where I'm saying emotionally, emotionally, this will be um, a series of events where mm-hmm. we'll have to take the kids through communication. Mm-hmm. Mommy and daddy will now be a family. And it also goes back to saying their lifestyle was in a different way. Ne? Your lifestyle is in a different way. Ne? Mm-hmm. And now you, you're coming together. Remember that nobody's going to change. You'll be your way, the way they raised you at home, whatever. No, you know, people then... change based on what you want. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't think people change. No, I don't people, think people change. It depends on what you guys want as a fa- If I think, yes, there's compromising and whatever, yes. but change. People don't change. Yeah, maybe some a young kid who's like tunya and that, but you understand routine and lifestyle and everything. So, if manana or or that that guy that you call the hubby comes there, okay. We back guys. Um as we were in that heated debate i'm just gonna go through a few uh 
uh, comments from our viewers and how they feel about this particular topic. Um, the first one is from a guy which is I like. Um, Gabelo, uh, my cousin, he says, it's not ideal simply because of I'm accepting her with her baggage. So her baggage is my baggage immediately when I say I marry her. So that's where I say it's the mindset. What are you guys marrying for? So if from the onset I'm saying I'm marrying you, I'm taking it all with you. Uh, the next one is from Tabisa. She says, um, it depends on the relationship the kid has with the step parent. Some step parents don't like their parent, their their partner's kids. Period. So if I'm a la if a lady has a has made a decision of marrying such a person, rather leave the kids at home and but spend as much time as possible. So she feels that her happiness also matters, uh, and she's not gonna compromise her happiness. However, also taking into account that the kids would need to see her often, but she will carry on with them, leave the kids at home, see them often, and life goes on. And I think a lot of people would put it like this. I also, they, they always say, it's my life, you know, and I need to live it for myself. Um, it's, it's the same as when the kids grow up, they leave you now. It's as if you didn't li live your own life <laughs> you understand but at the same time we don't want angry kids we don't want to raise angry That's, kids or yes. you know we are getting kids who are a lost. society where yeah. uh we're building a whole lot of angry kids uh uh kids who are demotivated kids who commit suicide mm. kids who are depressed mm -hmm. And kids who need constant uh, reconfirmation from us as parents. Yeah. I feel this is what we should actually think about as mm. youngsters. And you brought the from, kids yeah. into the world, you know. So you got to take your kids with you everywhere. So I just think, personally, everybody has a different answer. You know, there'll be those who say, I'll take my kids. There'll be those that hey, rather leave my kids at home and live my life. I live once, all those type of things. So I think my closing, it's, it's, it's totally up to you. It's your decision. You make it and you live with it at the end of the day. Do what makes you happy and what makes you breathe at night. So yeah, that's, that's what I can say. I'll just read the last uh, comment as a closing from Nono. Uh, she says, it all depends on what you and your partner have discussed and agreed upon. What the relationship like uh, is like between the previous parents. You know, we've got the the parents from and how their relationship is with their kids. Because the most important uh, factor mm -hmm. is all about you. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that <clears throat> there's a picture. I'll just close it off. There's a picture. I saw of a, a child graduating from university and he's got all his parents oh, yes. there. It was uh -huh. such a beautiful picture. Uh -huh. And I think that picture just made me feel that uh, we are a society, uh, a, free society. A, a free society. We <laughs> are going into... Yeah. Uh, changes as yeah, a society. It can be mom, dad, step yes. mom, step dad. They yes. and it, it doesn't a happy matter. Family. Let's build um, a, a society of non-broken mm -hmm. kids. Let's mm -hmm. build a society of um, uh, being there for our kids at all times. Let's mm -hmm. build a society of non-hatred. Let's build. Let's move away from depressed kids depression mm -hmm. is real guys mm -hmm. let's move away from there uh, let's love our step kids and love your own kids and don't compromise for your kids guys yeah, if it means yeah, that uh, uh, you are compromised with your kids marriage would rather go where it has to mm -hmm. but and do not compromise yourself for your marriage or for marriage, or your kids for marriage. Nope. 
Thank you. Thank you, Bye. guys. <laughs>